Gabrielle Meyerowitz, and I'm a painter. I've always scribbled uh, since I was a child and um, been a bit obsessed with color and line and, and space. Um, when I was five, I had a closet which I covered in my own drawings and um, that's really been my obsession and it's something that I continue today. It, it is a multi-step process, my, my art. It, it, it involves being usually, like I said, in a foreign space as the first step, trying to identify certain similarities and certain differences that might exist in that space and in then later on usually using the memories, uh, these sort of live memories that exist that I've now gathered and translating them onto a two-dimensional surface, usually a canvas, sometimes found material. Um, that's the second step. The third step is taking that finished piece, that finished painting, and putting it in a new environment. Um, so it's really, it's a, it's a multi-step process. Um, and I like to have whoever is coming to, to see my work, it's an interactive experience as well. Um, so what is my favorite part? Um, all of it. I believe there are two kinds of artists um, in the world. I mean, I'm sure there are more, but if you're going to broaden the categories, there are the artists that go inward and, and work with what is inside their internal worlds, and there are the artists that work um, with what is around them. I have always sought in my work um, to find my, um, to find what it is, or what is around me, and find a way of translating the light, the similarities, the differences that might exist in these individual spaces that I momentarily enter. I look for ways to capture the fragments of the mundane, of the everyday in my work um, and translate that onto a two-dimensional surface, whether it's a found piece of material or usually a large-scale canvas. I simply try to take what is around me and very um, objectively try to translate that onto the new surface. Um, my work involves its three different steps. Um, the first step is to enter a new space, usually a foreign space, and simply observe while staying within myself. Uh, the second part of my work is trying to take these fragmented memories that I have gathered and attempt to put them onto my canvas. Um, so it becomes a bit of a meditation. Um, these memories, I call them memory still lives. Um, the third part of the process is to take these pieces that I create and put them in a new environment. And my hope is the people that come and see my work um, become more aware of their environment, of the individual environment that they might be in. So for example, tonight on the boat, I've, I've placed a triptych that I created hanging in space. Um, so this is very important, the relationship of how does my piece work within its newest environment. And I, I yeah, I hope that people could come to, you know, have more of an awareness of what is around them now. My sole intention and my long-term goal, um, and this is really something that's been essential for me since the beginning, is to, through these individual places that I might visit, find a way of translating this common human story um, and this is really something that only happens through my wanderings um, and my observations of these foreign spaces. Um, 
and I hope to one day arrive at an understanding of what is the common universal story that exists for all of us find these connections that's what I'm seeking I'm seeking connections my name is Gabrielle Meyerowitz and I'm a raw artist